In this video, we're going to look at heat flow in a system and analyze it with respect to the second law of thermodynamics. So what I've drawn here is our usual figure uh, in an isolated enclosure, right? So this guy is enclosed in an isolated enclosure. And we know that uh, if we have this uh, system and surroundings at two different temperatures, right? So I have the system at temperature T and the surroundings at temperature T prime in such a way that the temperature of the system is not going to be equal to the system of the surroundings, right? So T is not going to be equal to T prime. If these temperatures aren't equal, then we know that there's going to be some sort of uh, heat flow between the system and surroundings until they reach thermal equilibrium, right? So uh, depending on whether T prime is greater than or less than T will determine the flow of heat, which we haven't established that yet. So I kind of just drew a double arrow here. We know that the heat is going to flow in some direction, uh, but we haven't really specified which direction just yet. Now we know that since this uh, system is isolated, right, that the heat transfer uh, must be equal to zero in accordance with the first law of thermodynamics, right? So we know that the following statement is true, that dq of the system is going to be equal to negative dq of the surroundings, right? So there's that interplay between system and surroundings, right? Whatever's transferred to the system is received uh, by the surround, well, whatever's transferred from the system is received by the surroundings and vice versa, right? So uh, from this, right, we can we know we can write out a total uh, a, an equation for the entropy of the universe, right? So let's go ahead and write that out. So let me put that here. So if we wanted to get the en entropy for the universe, we know that that's just going to be the sum of the entropy of the system plus the entropy of the surroundings right so we've uh, looked at in the last video that we can we have a thermodynamic definition for the entropy as basically a ratio of the heat transferred over the temperature right so for the system that's going to be the heat transfer of the system over temperature T plus uh, DQ for the surroundings over temperature T prime, right? So since we have this relationship between uh, the, the heat transfer of the system and the surroundings, we can actually rewrite this equation in terms of just the heat transfer of the system, right? Since we know that DQ of surroundings is just going to be equal to negative dq of the system so we can end up with the following expression right so we have dq of the system it's just going to be equal to one over the temperature minus one over t prime right so this gives us an equation of delta s for the universe that only depends on the heat transfer of our system right so um, so we can use this equation in order to analyze two different scenarios, right? The first scenario can be if the temperature T is greater than T prime. And then the second scenario is if T prime is greater than T, right? So let's look at the first case. So let's call this case one, right? And case one, I'll say that T is less than T prime. Right, so T is going to be a lower temperature than T prime. That means that heat is going to be transferred into the system. Right, so heat is going to be transferred from the surroundings to the system. Right, so we have heat being absorbed by the system. So in this case, heat is absorbed by the system. Right, so what does that mean for our dq? Right, that means that dq is going to be greater than zero. Right, our dq for the system is going to be greater than zero. Right, so we know that it's going to be a positive number, basically. 
So now let's re-examine this equation that we have for delta S universe, right? So we have ds universe is going to be equal to dq of the system, 1 over t minus 1 over t prime. Right now, all we have to do in order to evaluate the second law of thermodynamics is basically ask ourselves whether this will give us a positive or negative number, right? If it's in accordance with the second law of thermodynamics, we should get a positive number as a result. Okay, well, we already know that dq of the system is going to be positive since it's absorbing heat. But what about this inequality? Well, what about this um, difference here, right? What about this guy? Is it going to be positive or negative? Well, let's look at it, right? We know that the uh, temperature T is less than the temperature T prime, right? So if we do 1 over T minus 1 over T prime, we are going to get a positive number. Since the numerator is lower in this first fraction than in the second one, we know that we're going to get a positive number here. So we have a positive number from this result. So that means that delta S universe, in this case, will be greater than zero, right? Since it's a positive number, which is exactly what we want. This means that it is in accordance with the second law of thermodynamics. Okay, now let's look at the second case. So let's look at case two. So I'm gonna call this guy case two. And this is going to be the case where T is greater than T prime, right? So in this case, heat is produced by the system. We can say heat is released by the system. And so if heat is released by the system, then that means that delta uh, the dq of our system is going to be less than zero. right? So dq of our system is going to be less than zero. Right. This would be if we're thinking in terms of chemical reactions, this would be some some exothermic reaction that's producing heat and giving it to the surroundings. Right. So, um, again, in this case, we're going to analyze this expression. Right. We have delta S. For our universe. Is DQ system. Times one over T minus one over T prime. And we're going to go through the exact same type of exercise. Right. Um, what's going to be the term, the sign of each one of these terms that's involved in the expression, right? Well, DQ system, we already know that heat is being released by the system. So this guy is going to be a negative number, right? So we get a negative number there. And then when we look at this term in parentheses, since T is going to be greater than T prime, that means that this number is going to be smaller than this one. So this would also give you a negative number. So those negatives cancel out to give you a positive. And again, delta S universe is greater than zero. So regardless of which case we're looking at, um, we're still in accordance with the second law of thermodynamics either way. If the system is absorbing heat, then this term is going to be positive. Everything's positive. We get delta S universe is greater than zero. If the, heat, the system is releasing heat, then that means that the heat transfer is going to be negative. This term is also negative, so we end up with a positive number uh, in both cases. So this just shows you that regardless of which way, which direction heat is being transferred in a system, we're still going to be in agreement with the second law of thermodynamics either way.